everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sam and I'm a former teacher turned instructional designer working in tech. When recruiters reach out to you on LinkedIn or Indeed or via some other job search site, they're oftentimes going to ask for a link to your portfolio so they can look through work samples. If you've seen some of my past videos, you'll know that I kind of demonstrated how to build a portfolio using Google Sites. And in this video, we're going to create a portfolio using the sponsor of this video, iSpring Suite. So what is iSpring Suite? It's an all-in-one course development platform that lets you create interactive and really exciting courses. I'll link a previous video I did about how to create courses with iSpring, but now they have a new feature called Portfolio Builder where you can take the courses that you've built in iSpring and import them into a portfolio builder. So you don't even have to like find a place to store the courses that you're building. You can just put them into a portfolio builder, share that link with recruiters and have an awesome portfolio that they can look at. I'm gonna show you what my iSpring portfolio looks like and then we'll kind of look at how to edit it and how to add in portfolio projects as you build them. All right, so this is the iSpring homepage. Like I mentioned before, it's an amazing course creation software that really helps to create really interactive and engaging online courses for your learners. And what I think is really cool about iSpring is they've just launched the ability for us course creators to take any courses that we've created and put them directly into a portfolio with their portfolio builder tool. If I click on my name and my profile, I'll see that there's an option to go to my portfolio. And when I click on that, we'll get to see what I've built with my iSpring portfolio. So this is my portfolio. It is by no means fully finished yet, but I do want to show you around. You can see I have a certification exam prep course as well as a get started with Canva course. And it also allows you to add a little bit more information about yourself besides just the courses. If I click the edit button, I can edit the work experiences. I can add a job title. I can edit the about me which is really great because when recruiters and people looking at your portfolio want to learn a bit more about you, all the information is right there in one place. I can even add the different skills that I want to highlight and they'll be displayed really nicely on my portfolio. Now I'll show you how to add a new course to your portfolio, but first I need to finish it a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at a course I'm working on. And as I finish it, I'll publish it and then add it to my portfolio for my recruiters to see. All right, so here's a course I've been working on called Make the Transition from Teaching to Instructional Design. All the backgrounds that you see and all the people that you see on these slides are all created using the different features in iSpring. If you click on the little iSpring tab, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few objects. All right, so the types of things that I want on my slide are probably an office chair. I wanna make sort of like a desk slash office vibe. So I think what I'm gonna do is add in a monitor, a desk, and some sort of chair. And I really like how simple and easy this is to use because I can just get whatever images I want and I can arrange them super easily directly onto the slide. I can move them back and forth so that it looks like the chair is behind the desk and really customize the slide to make it look exactly how I want it. And I'll just add some final touches for now. I think this will do. So let's go ahead and publish this course so that I can show you how to add the iSpring course to my portfolio. All right, so now we're back into my profile page and you can see that the new course is here and published. So this makes it super easy to go ahead and add it to my portfolio. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on my username and then I will go down to my portfolio. All right, so we're zoomed in here. I'm gonna click add project to portfolio and then I will click on the project that I just published and click add to portfolio. All right, so now we have the project properties page where I can upload a cover image, I can edit the title, and I can add a description. I think it's really important to have a description here, like a high level summary of what your course is about. You can include some learning objectives or some course outcomes here. I also like to include an outline of the course. I think that that's super helpful. Just so that people who have no idea about the courses that you've built have a little bit more context about what you've actually built 
when they go ahead and click into the individual courses. So you can see now that I have a new course in my portfolio, which is super awesome. And I can click share, which will then generate a link that I can share with anyone who asks for it. I can click copy and that will make sure that I have the link. I'll go ahead and open up a new tab just to show you like what the preview of the link that I've created looks like from another person's perspective. So let's say you're a recruiter or just someone who's asked for a link to the portfolio. This is what it's going to look like when you share that link. Look how cool this looks. You can see all the different courses that I've built with the cover photos that I've selected. And bonus, there's an option to message me. It's linked directly to my email. So recruiters or whoever wants to contact you can go ahead and click that and it will send a message directly to your email. All your information is packaged in one beautiful portfolio. And that's it for today's video. Thank you again to iSpring for sponsoring this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll leave some of the related documentation and help center articles for iSpring down below. So if y'all have any questions about iSpring, you can just read it there. I'll also post some related videos like how I built a course with iSpring as well as other different portfolio building videos I've made. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.